hello everyone welcome to rpa learners and in this video we're going to see how to open a browser using robocop in the previous videos we have seen the zip file activity or the keywords and the other keywords now we are going to see rpa dot browser selenium keywords and we're going to see how to input or type a text or click on a particular event how to handle the alerts and we will cover each of them in a single video and for the starting of this uh, let's see how to open your browser using robocop and there are uh, four or five keywords how you can use it and open a browser but i will sh uh, tell you the best way of using it or the best keyword that we can use um, obviously the best keyword that we're gonna use is the open available browser because there are other keywords which is open browser open chrome browser and all the other things um, what is the difference between open browser and open available browser i in this open available browser if you see here there are some arguments these are some of the arguments that are useful for us that so i listed them here there are other arguments as well so you can go ahead and check that out and what is the difference between open browser and open available browser for these browsers to run uh, we need to install the chrome driver and all the other drivers which need to be installed in order to start the browser uh, in open browser we need to manually install the driver and then set it to the path but in open available browser robocop has already done that uh, whenever you are using this particular keyword it will automatically download that particular driver and it will start the browser right so we don't need to do anything when we use open available browser so for that reason we are using open available browser now and there are these arguments the one is the url which holds the uh, which url to open and then headless and when you want uh, the browser to be headless we can use the argument headless which is true or false we can make a true or false and other one is maximized if you want it to be a maximized mode or the minimized mode this is also a boolean value you can make it as true or false the browser selection the browser selection is given below here uh, for windows uh, usually it takes it will search for first chrome if you're not given any browser selection and then it will search for firefox edge ie and opera uh, if it finds the chrome then it will open that particular url in the chrome browser but in the linux uh, it is chrome firefox and opera mini so this is a, this is the default order that is given and one is another one is the alias if you want to use this particular browser again we can use this particular keyword uh, argument which is alias and we can reference it for that particular browser right for that the reason we are using alias here so let's go ahead and see uh, how to use this in visual studio the robocop and the first one is we need to use open available browser browser and we also need to import the library that i already done which is rpa.browser.selenium and open available browser and let's open amazon dot in and maximized I want this to be maximized so I will make it as true and what else I need I can use the alias as well A L I A S alias first browser so let me save this and let me execute this so that we will see whether it is opening the browser or not and the keyword is working or not and it will always open a new browser in order to execute uh, this command let's see it will um, close the browser as well so we if you see here it is opening a browser new new profile here and it opened amazon.com in a maximized mode and it will stop the execution and let's say you want this to be headless then you need to include uh, that particular keyword uh, that particular argument sorry and uh, it is headless and we need to make it as true and i make i made it as true because it is headless we don't we cannot see the execution in a here so let's do another thing let's take a screenshot of it 
and we need to provide the file name let's say demo.png and this file name right so it will take uh, we are not providing any particular locator here uh, in order to take the screenshot yeah it, it will take the whole image of the whole screen the whichever it is loading there and let's save this and let's execute this so it will open the browser but we there is no option that we, we are able to see it because it is headless which is true and let's see whether it will open it and then it will take the screenshot and it will save it let's see whether it is saving or not the execution is completed so we cannot see any chrome opening here but it says okay the process is completed so let's go ahead and see it in the log file and let me refresh the log file and if I go here and if you see here it is open available browser this is completed and it opened the this particular URL and then the screenshot if you see here the screenshot is right here it captured the page complete page and you can also see the time that when it is captured and this is how the headless browser works and this is how you can open a browser of a particular URL and you can use this particular name and let's see if there is something that we can see of the alias I'm not sure uh, we will see it in the future videos how to use this on the next um, browser when we are using we are you need to use the same browser so for opening the browser let, uh, this is these are the things that you need to know uh, main things and that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching